Space is phenomenal, right? It is unbelievably important to our way of life on Earth. From sat-navs to stock markets, we rely on space and we're only going to need space more for the future. Today here in Harwell was about a conversation between industry, so the OneWeb, Astroscale, and the government and the Prince of Wales, looking at how we keep space sustainable and safe for future generations. Space sustainability is vital for two reasons. Firstly, in the last 40, 50 years, we put a lot of debris as a planet up in space, 4,000 dead satellites, a million pieces of debris, and we're now increasingly reliant on space for everything from mobile phones to air traffic control to ship navigation and a million other functions in the daily economy. So making sure that that space is sustainable and that satellites aren't damaged by debris is vital to every single one of us. Astroscale is really the global leader in promoting space sustainability and we're developing technologies globally to not only bring down failed spacecraft from say constellations but also to bring down things like upper stages of rockets, you know, two or three tons to bring those down safely and also at geostationary to actually extend the life of spacecraft, so docking with them to allow them to operate, you know, make money for longer. And we're working very closely with OneWeb on a public-private partnership to prove our technology. Space sustainability is a really important topic now. It has been an important topic for many, many years, but it's become critical now because of the pace of launch of spacecraft. We used to launch fewer than 100 satellites a year. Now it's up in over thousands if we follow the plans that are expected. And with that in mind, we must have a way to ensure that spacecraft we're launching now have a guaranteed recovery option on board. So that means we need redundancy in the capability of removing spacecraft from orbits so those orbits stay clean and reusable for future missions because so much of what we do on Earth depends on the infrastructure in space. I think for OneWeb what responsible space means, it means responsible design of satellites, it also means responsible operation, it also means responsible removal of those satellites as we, as, as we go forward. And I think that I think we are moving ahead of the industry on that. I think we have a leadership role to play, and we should absolutely we should actually continue to lead in this in this regard. Space sustainability relies on people working together, and although space is this incredible domain in which people naturally want to do the right thing, very often you have to have governments and regulation to make sure the rules of space. Are clear. Industry needs a voice in these discussions because without it we get misunderstood and we get regulation that doesn't work for successful industry. Across the globe countries are competing with regulation and so we have to have a voice explaining what's needed and what's required so that we can have the best possible competitive environment. If we want to develop our capabilities in space, we need to take the academic research, we need to work with the businesses that can properly commercialise it, and we need to be able to work with government that holds responsibility for the policy and the regulation of the environment in space to make sure that we can do the best job possible. We can't do this alone. In the end, space is a common for all of us and we need international collaboration. In the end, we need a space commonwealth good nations committed to a good and sustainable space. That's why the visit of His Royal Highness here today to signal his willingness to support that for us is so important. Space is a shared resource like everything else on this planet and it's the right thing to do for us and the responsible thing for us to do to make sustainability a central part of what we do at OneWeb and what we believe in as we go forward.